Good morning, Facebook Live. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Jamila, and I am here with Serena Vesegi, and he is going to tell us all about impact, the impact that other people have on our lives and the impact that we have on other people's lives. Hey, Andy, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. We're so happy you decided to join us today. You too, Michael, thanks. So good to see you. We're talking all about impact today, the impact that other people have on our lives and the impact that we have on other people's lives. Hey, Simon, you're there too. Thanks. So exciting to see you guys. Really happy you guys joined us. All right, so let's talk about impact. Oh, and by the way, since you joined, please feel, share to, feel free to share and comment. We really want to hear your ideas. Can't wait. Let's make this a conversation. So here we go. Impact. It's all of, we all impact one another. That's just how it is in this world. You know, other people impact us and we impact other people. And that's what we're talking about today. We're talking all about impact, the impact that we make on others and the impact other people make upon us. So, Serena, please start. How is it that we impact other people's lives? What is it? Success does not in a vacuum. Success does not happen in a vacuum. We are the, we are the team. We are the team. We all need a team. And uh, 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 the people I think that is if I don't really All right, so here we go. This is what Serena is saying. He said, hey, look, the pe we all need a team. And the people on our team can either propel us to amazing or <sighs> or they can hold us back. Hey Gregory, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us today. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, up to you. Do not marry, marry you. And at the end of the day, it's up to you to navigate your team. What do you mean by that, Serena? Oh, um, one of the issues that I hear often is, you know, I don't really hear. All right, so someone is saying, hey, you know what? So often from entrepreneurs or just from people in general, he hears that, you know what? I just don't have the right team to run around with the right people. I, I, don't really I don't have the right connections. Oh, I would be idiot. And um, sometimes people even say, I work with idiots. Yeah. And because uh, it's me and I'm not even going to my team. And someone's saying, hey, look, you know what? I've got to figure out a team, too. It took a long time. And, 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 we, and, we were and unfortunately, every year, your team's been changing. And we were, and we were, a little bit. And that's what you think. Oh, it's a good thing. So we get closer. We get arguing. And people who are not working with me, people are not working with me. You're changing, and people may not want to change with you. So as you become more successful, your standards have grown. And if 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 you are willing to meet my standards, and if you aren't willing to meet some of the standards, then 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 I love you, but. Good luck. I love you. But we're not a good team. But if you are really, but if you really, but if you're willing to be amazing with me, but if you're willing to be amazing with me, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Like me. Then, then, I will help. Then I will help with open arms. Yeah, yeah. That's true. You are like that. So. Uh, I, oh, go ahead. I, I, I wish you said so much time. I don't know. Don't worry about me. So Serena said, hey, you know what? I've wasted a lot of time with people who just don't want to grow with me. Uh, I, I used to acquiesce. And you used to acquiesce? Uh, and then I 
try, try to make it work. And try to make it work. With the, with the, with the other, the other part. Without eating. Without reciprocation. I, I, I'm not just, I'm not just about being stubborn. I'm just saying, you know, these are my standards. These are what I want. So you're not talking about just being stubborn and dog or headed. You're talking about, hey, I have a standard and I want you to get there. And that's very important. That's very important. Then, and that's very important to find people who want to go up to that standard with you. So, one thing if you don't, if you don't, 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 don't. And so often people, they don't really lead their team. But this is, do you uh, have this standard? How do you still have this standard in your mind? You just need to make sure you have that standard in your mind. And then, and then go find a team that inspires you. And then make sure you find team members who inspire you. So speaking of that, Serena, we were talking about how you impact other people. So you've talked about leading your team, but let's talk about this a little differently. How do you, how do other people impact you? How do other people impact your life and your success? Well, well I, 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 I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? We wrote out everything that we need. We wrote out, wrote out everything that we do that I need in order to be successful. That if everything that you need in order to be successful? Recovering, garlic, and everything. everything. All right, so yeah, you've written out everything that you need. Like, So for team members wise, you've written out everything that you need to be successful. Yeah, it's not I did so much different than this. I just not know what we do. Right, so it's not all just your ideas. It's my ideas too. And these are things that, you know, you come up with the list and then you can find the people to plug into your team. Um, are there other ways? So that's team. But are there other ways that you impact people? Like, how about on a friendship level? You have to make sure you support your friends. Support whatever they're doing. Support whatever they're doing. If you see a friend that's having a hard time. If you see a friend that's having a hard time. Oh, just take them how you How are you how are you? Yeah, send them a text saying, you know what, how are you doing? Are you my grandma's eat? Are you? Or do you want to grab a bite? Or do you want to grab a bite to eat? And and you do yeah. I I should be good. Come up with the service. Everything you do I should be beat that service. But everything you do has to be based on service. That's right. Yeah. You know, there's something you told me. They said that, you know, you've gone to a lot of conferences. And, you know, from those conferences, you've gained a lot of insights. In, in, all, in all one other day, two weeks of programming. So in 2001, you were? In class. In class. At USC. At USC. And the professor asked you, what do you want to do after USC? And the professor asked you, what do you want to do after USC? And what did you tell him? He said, write a book. Because you get a book. So you said you wanted to write a book. You did that. You wanted to become a speaker. And you wanted to open the foundation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to learn to see the three I did two. Yeah, you've gotten two of the three, and you're working on the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only ten, ten, ten years ago. Ten years ago. And you think in the next ten years? Yeah. Cool but, stuff. But, 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 you see, I don't know, 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 I
You had no idea how to do any of it. How to do any of it. Yeah. I had no I had absolutely no idea. Absolutely clueless. So you went to these conferences. Why? To to learn I to me to know me. I mean you learn you went so you could learn and also so you could network with amazing people. So when you were going to these conferences you were around people who could impact you? Yeah, yeah. You were around people who could you could learn from. Yeah, I, 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 if I need, if I need whatever, I would pay you a coach. And if you needed more help, then you would go get yourself a coach or something? Yeah, I'm not, that's what it took. And that's what it took. I, so, I was just, I was just getting my, my neighbors were the answers. You. I was just getting my neighbors. You weren't going to just work for a neighbor? Wait for the neighbor to give me the answers. Oh, you weren't just going to wait for somebody just to give you the answers. Yeah. You went out and sought out the yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah. But you surrounded yourself with people who are amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. And you surrounded yourself with people who were already where you wanted to be. Yeah. So. I, I created a win 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 situation. And so you created a win win situation. They got to be of service. You got to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I had, I had, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I I didn't do Right. And then on the other hand, yeah, you work with some people who maybe weren't so encouraging and the ground wasn't so fertile. And maybe you gave them too much slack and too much freedom and too much time. And they maybe eventually proved themselves to be no, no, we're, no, we're here, but... not worthy of that. Not worthy of that. No, no, the no, 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 Exactly. So if you kept working with them, then it's not their fault for not living up to your expectation or expectation or your standard and not succeeding. It's actually your fault because you continued in that situation even though you knew this was not the place where you would be, you know, best your needs would be best met and that you would be best fed and the impact would be the best it could be for you. There's reality and there's your reaction to reality. And you say it all the time, it's 100% true. You might want reality to be one thing, but there's actually reality. And... Yeah. and Exactly. So when you're building your team or when you're impacting others, you can't change anybody if they don't want to change. And even then, you can't change them. They have to change themselves. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. I, 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 I think they were trying to see you spend a lot of time trying to change people. Yeah, because I love people. Because you love people. And, and that's it. That's not it. That's not a good standard. No, that's not a good standard. Oh, this year when we were trying to find finding a finding a way to live with someone. Right. So Serena said, hey, look, one of my challenges this year has been looking for a VA who can run some of my, um, what do you got, some of my computer systems. Hey, look, we've got some comments here, Serena. One of them's like, hey, look, this is a really good idea. The idea of surrounding yourself with good people. <laughs> and the other comment is that, you know, it's very true. You can't change people. And I think we should talk about that because it's true. You know, no matter what, we just, we may want to, but we can't. Yeah, so, wow, wow, I would say, I would say, I would be, since, 
You were looking for forever for this person. Hey, by the way, JD, thank you so much for joining. Good to see you. It's all about impact today. The impact that people make on you, the impact you make on others, how people impact your team. Let's just make an impact. You hired a couple of people. That didn't work out. That didn't work out, yeah. Finally, I hired a me. So, but yeah, after going through a lot of people who were slightly less than amazing, mm. Serena was able to find somebody who was actually yeah. amazing. And you, what were you doing? Yeah, and Serena's really nice. He likes to be the nice person. He just talks to you nicely and sweetly. And then there's me. You let me do all the yucky stuff. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, thank you too, Serena. Yeah. I want to be nice too. Yeah, yeah. Met who? Uh, Alright, so before Serena met his new VA, Alright, so before you met your new VA, you thought what? Is this going to get done? Right, how long is it going to take? I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Waiting, uh, it's like completely frustrating, right? Uh, uh, right, so the new VA was completely different, like completely different than any of the others. She would email quickly, she was just on it, like, not, she was just her um, attention to detail was yeah. more than what we expected. It was just Awesome. So no, 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 no. I'm sorry? Right, so you don't have to worry about much of anything. She's going to get it done. So how has this impacted your team? It's one more less thing that I worry. It's one less thing that you have to worry about, which lets your team mm -hmm. then do what? Yeah, if we get a time, if we get a time, if we get a time, it frees up time. It frees up worry, maybe. Yeah, this this year I probably eight hours on this one project. Right. So this year you spent like all kind of hours on this project, but now that you have this person in place, she's made such an impact that yeah. it frees that up. The job's getting done. Yeah. But I'm like, if, if I get okay, I will not work here. I will not. I will not forget. The bottom line is, if you don't choose the right team members and they aren't making the right impact, then you won't be as productive as you want to be. That's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. and uh, there, there's one example of one day I'm a big business. And that's just one example of one task in your business where you have to choose the right people to that you can trust to do their job and do it well so that your team can move forward and be the productive team that you need for them to be. Hey, look, Amy joined. Hey, Amy, how are you? Thank you so much. We're talking all about impact today. And you know what? Since we all have an impact upon each other, we would like to get your comments and your ideas so that we can share them and make an impact. Make an impact with our group today. I want to look at the other side. You want to look at the other side. What's the other side, Serena? Uh, the other side is you need to be there for you, for other people. You need to be there for other people. Yes. So my, my job at leaders to give them different opportunities to be there. So what Serena said was, hey, look, I'm the leader. 
And my job as the leader is not just to choose people who can make a positive impact on my team, but to give them the tools that they need to be successful. Right, so Serena likes to shoot live videos, as you can tell, because we're here every day. And he shoots them with me, and sometimes he shoots them with Chris. And Chris is like, uh, yeah, he is, he's like super busy. And Serena says, hey, look, I know this is his reality, and I know he's doing the very best he can. My job to make sure that he can be successful is to have everything set up when he gets here. Yeah. So all he has to do is come in, do what he needs to do, and do it well. Right, so then it was sort of said, hey, look, if I take this guy, Chris, and I say, I want you to come over, I want you to shoot, but when you get here, you've got to do the setup, you've got to do the writing, you've got to do the teardown, and you still have to do the things I've asked you to do. Hey, look, Mitch joined. Hi, Mitch, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. We're making an impact today, and since we're making an impact, we'd really like for you to, you know, to comment and you know, share your thoughts, too, so we can all impact one another. So, if you ask Chris to do all these things, he wouldn't be able to make the impact that he would make on your team. Yeah. Okay. And that's just one more example. The whole idea really... You can give as many examples as you want. It's your life. That's right, Serena. I... I... I don't know you love working with business coaches. Yeah. Uh, in the beginning, I used to borrow them stupid questions. In the very beginning, you used to bog them down with stupid questions? Yeah. Uh, really? I used to borrow my dreams. My dreams. You used to bog them down with your dreams? Uh, I want to make a million dollars. I want to make a million dollars. You just tell them, I want to make a million dollars. They would be, okay, then go. And they would say, okay, that's cool. But in the last in the last I shot it. I used to even the pain of my dream. So in the last six months, I, I really. So in the last six months, you've managed to move from dream oriented to, to process oriented to process oriented. So now, rather than emails being focused on the dream, every single email is focused on the process. No, I email them. <laughs> so now you email them and you say, hey, look, this is what I'm working on. This is what I have. This is what I have. This is what I need to get with. This is what I need to get with. And this is what I need help with. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Yeah. And that's a much more. This is my most aggressive approach. And that's a more, more aggressive. aggressive approach. Yeah, rather than being passive. Rather than being passive. We, we can no matter what, no matter what we're going to be. No matter what, you're going to pay this coach. But it's a, a no matter what, you're going to want my money. And no matter what, he's going to take your money. Yeah. Do you want to waste his time on with your head in the clouds? Or do you want to spend the time with on the ground? Or do you want to spend your time with your boots on the ground? Yeah, that, that, 
the difference that I make a year. And that's the difference you've had this year. So, and because of how you dealt with things, yeah. it's allowed him to be able to make a greater impact on your team? Yeah, yeah. I think it's easy for him. It's easy for him because that's his question. It's easy for him because you're letting him use his skill set? Yeah, rather than him having to react to what you say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's super easy. And what? It's a shift this year. And it's been? Business shift this year. Oh, so that's been your business shift for the year. Yeah. I before we get on a call every two weeks. Before you would get on a call every two weeks. And talk about this. And talk about your And talk about your drinks. But now, I know you. This is why we got this this is what, this is what I need. So now you email him and you tell him, hey, look, this is what I'm working on and this is what I need. And you know, we still, we still, if, if he didn't tell me to go to this time, you know, I would talk about my dreams. And so if you have time, you do what? We got it. I don't know. You go out to dinner and talk about your dreams. But that's not how it works right now. But that's not right that's not your focus right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your focus is execution. Do we, do we have anything on our list? Do we have everything on our list? Yes. Yeah. Well, I think we did. We hit the idea of how other people impact our dreams, right? And our success. Yeah. All right. We wanted to talk about how we impact other people and their success. Did we do that? Uh, I, I, I think so. Okay, and we wanted to talk about making sure that you get the right team because your team impacts your success. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so I think we, I think we, I think I think we got it. it, yeah. I know you had said earlier before we started that the whole idea was just to make sure you put yourself in a fertile place so that you could grow the way you want to. Yeah, but, but, but I have to I have to do you know I do you know I do find you to find you to find you to find you to How long did it take you to find me? A couple of years. A couple of years? I kissed a lot of frogs. You kissed a lot of frogs? Yeah, but, because we're breaking every, every, every technique. All right, Roberto gave you a good technique. What was it? When you let a dog shoot me. Okay, so look, this is Serena's tip. When you're looking for team members, you write your job description. Scared the living crap out of them. Scared the living crap out of them. Yeah. Uh, that way, when you should do a little bit of item, then you find the right member. He said, look, when you scale them and crap out of them, then you'll find the right team member. You get, you get, the right, the right team member, you got, uh, at times. So the right team member won't look at the ad and get scared. They will look at, uh, a good challenge. Don't look at it as a good challenge. Oh, for, for, for example, for example, before you use this technique. Before you use this technique. Use this technique. I used to write in my head. You used to write in my head. Write in your head a lot? Yeah, have a headline? Be, be, be inspired. No. But, but, but. After, after, after Roberto told you this, you started telling him exactly what you needed. Right. Right. Yeah. You don't want to have to. You don't want somebody coming into an interview because they think you're going to inspire them to succeed. 
Yeah. If they get that from me, that's a plus. If they, yeah, if they get that from you, that's a plus. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? We're talking about impact today. So please, if you can, you know, impact us with your comments and your thoughts and your ideas. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Yeah, so you communicate what you expect, you scare you, you scare them in their in the want ad, and then you get somebody in there who's not afraid, they see a challenge, and maybe you've kissed your last frog. Thank you.